everyone and welcome to a new week and a new vlog at Oxford. Um, last week was really fun. I had a lot of like friend stuff going on, Anika's dance recitals. Her and I actually had dinner last night, which was really nice. And yeah, got to do a lot of that kind of stuff. I'm not totally sure what's on the uh, docket for this week, but yeah, for the next couple days I'm working on a bit of a, not like an essay, but it's writing. So basically I'm working on one section for a meeting with my supervisor because, or that's what I've been working on for the last couple of weeks, but our meeting is this week, so I'm doing like final stuff, it's crunch time. So today I'm actually gonna go have lunch with, that's what I've been doing this morning, but then today I'm gonna go have lunch with Eloise and then continue working on it at a library probably. So yeah, that's all that I have firmly planned for today. And then we'll see what I get up to tonight. I am back home after a day of studying and a nice lunch and chat with Eloise. We went to Brown's Cafe in the Covered Market and that's uh, I think the third time I've been there. I've been there once for breakfast and then I've been with Eloise and Anika before and then we went back today because I think like obviously everywhere in Oxford or the UK in general it's just very expensive right now. But I think that Browns has really good, like, bang for your buck for food. Like, you get a good portion, and the food's pretty good, and it's relatively cheap compared to other places. So I would recommend that. Um, went there for lunch, had a really nice visit, and then I went to the Rad Cam to study. And this is something that I think is so silly about the Rad Cam. So to make a short story long, basically when you check out books from the library here, a lot of them you can only use in library. Like even, so the Bodleian libraries get a copy of every book that's published by UK Press. So I knew like, oh, they're gonna have like Fourth Wing and Akatar, like all of the contemporary fantasy books that I'm using for my dissertation. So I was like, I'll just check them out instead of buying them. But all of the copies that I could find from all the libraries were used in library only which just doesn't really work for my purposes. So that basically means that like you can check it out, but you, can, you can't take it out of the library. You can only read it there, which is just, or like it's just not convenient depending on the type of book you're using. I feel like if it's more of a journal or something where you're really interested in like a couple chapters from like an academic book, then that makes more sense. But for something like Fourth Wing that I'm gonna be using like longer term over the course of my dissertation that I want to read at my own pace, my own time. That just doesn't make sense. Um, but yeah, anyway, so they have this thing where you can only read books in the library. And they have these, I think, three tables um, on the upper level blocked off for a device-free zone. So basically you're not supposed to like use your laptop there or anything. But the three tables amounts to like 12 seats in the library. So a lot of people, when all the other tables are completely full, will just go there and still use their laptops because like it's kind of stupid to like not be able to use the library and leave these seats empty. Especially like I don't get it as a concept anyway because they're right next to desks that are open to use for devices. So like I don't get how it's any more distracting to have someone at the desk next to you on a laptop as it is to have them reading a book, particularly when there are people right behind you on computers anyway. So I get to the library, it's completely full, like there is not an open seat to be found. So I went up to the device free section, there was one lone desk available. I think all but one person at the seats were using laptops, so I was like, okay, hey, whatever. The second I sat down, someone came and kicked us all out. And I've never, I've sat there before and that's never happened. But when I was walking around, I think I got to a table just as someone was leaving. So I did manage to snag one and got to work there for a while. But I just thought that I would share a silly little quirk of one of the libraries. But anyway, I did get some work done and then I did a little mini grocery shop and then I came back here and have been 
doing some work from home and messing around. So it's been a busy, but like not busy day socially anyway. So yeah, that's about all I have to report. Hello again, it's the next day now. I spent the evening working at home here and had a very chill night in. But this morning I'm about to head out to the Taylorian library to continue working there and then I think I'll probably come back here for lunch and then either work in the common room or potentially venture to the rad cam or something. We'll see how it's going here or if I'll need a change of environment. But yeah, just another work day today. So I wound up just working here for the afternoon after lunch and then as you will have seen I went on a walk through Port Meadow. I actually needed a couple more clips for one of the social media posts that I made for my practicum. So that was what like spurred the walk but I also was like I would like to get out of the house and it was crazy nice out today. Like very sunny and warm. I think I'm either red from just like being out walking around and I get red or I it's like burnt a little bit but that, that feels far-fetched, but like, maybe. Um, but now I'm about to, I came back, finished the post so it's ready to go tomorrow, and I'm going to head to the pub with Eloise and our friend Michael for a quick drink, and then gonna be back here. Good morning, everybody. Another day, and I'm another day in the Taylorian. I'm about to head there, so this is one of the days where I'm kind of around for my practicum and going to be working on that kind of stuff and yeah that's all that I have firmly planned for the day but yeah so we'll see it's not going to be too eventful today unfortunately <laughs> So today is kind of my last busier day of the week, which is nice because then I'll be able to get up to some cooler stuff in the evenings. But I basically have a meeting with my supervisor. So we've broken up kind of the remainder of our meetings into sections where I'll like write the next section of my paper, send it to him, he'll we'll talk and get feedback and everything. And then in the next meeting, I'll write the next section and, you know, and edit the previous section and apply the feedback and everything, um, which I quite appreciate because then it saved me from procrastinating <laughs> everything until the end. And I think that it's a good way to like keep working on every section of the project. And that's kind of how I've liked to work the last couple of years. Like it's easier to work to those smaller goals than like one bigger one, I guess. It's easier to be productive for me anyway. But yeah. So that's where you're talking about my introduction today, which is still kind of like a pretty rough draft because I think I'll be able to flesh it out more once I've, you know, sketched out and gotten into my main sections of my paper. It'll be easier to go back and make it more specific and everything. So yeah, gonna go to Worcester today. Worcester, Worcester, I never know how to pronounce it. I feel like every time I say it, I say it differently and someone corrects me every time. So I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> But yeah, I'm gonna go there and have our meeting and then afterwards I'll head back to the Taylorian to keep doing some work on my practicum because it's the two days a week that we're officially at the library and then can work on stuff at our own time. But yeah, that's what I have planned for today and then hopefully we'll be able to do something fun this evening to celebrate being done. Well, not done, but like my mini deadline has been met. <laughs>
day now, so I don't know if I really checked in, but I had a really great meeting with my supervisor in the morning, and then I went and walked around Worcester a little bit because that's where my supervisor uh, has his office, and they have really pretty grounds, like a lot of green space, and they call it a lake, but it's like more of a pond to me. Um, but I haven't seen it with like all the flowers in bloom and everything, so I went and did a quick little walk around the college afterwards, and it was really nice. And then I quickly had lunch, walked around a little bit to get some clips for the uh, Kafka social media stuff that I'm doing, and then I worked at the Taylorian for a little while on my practicum stuff. And then on the way, while I was walking back home, Eloise messaged, and we decided to go and get, have a drink at Head of the River Pub, which has a lot of outdoor seating, which is really nice. I had something called a Campari Spritz, which was disgusting. Um, it tasted like paint thinner, which I, pr I should have known because I know that I don't like Aperol spritzes, and I think they're basically the same thing. But I saw that it had blood orange soda, so I was like, sign me up. But then it was not... I will not be ordering that again, basically. But yeah, it was fine. And had a really nice afternoon chatting with Eloise. So the vibes were good, the drink was not. Um, and then I came back here and had a night in, did some, a little bit of work and just kind of chilled. But today Eloise and I are such free spirits and we decided last minute to go into London because Eloise uh, semi-frequently shops my closet and she asked if I wanted to go shopping sometimes. So I asked if she wanted to go today. I didn't know if she wanted to like go in Oxford or in London, um, but she was like, let's just go to London. So we're gonna go in and see what we get up to. I think we're gonna stop at Harrods just to, cause I've never been. And her and her family really like going there whenever they're here. So we're gonna go check that out first, I think. And then go somewhere where clothes are not as expensive <laughs> and check that out instead. So yeah, it should be a really fun day. A bargain. We love a bargain. <laughs> Herod's and obviously the only thing we can afford was snacks so we each got mine looks gigantic <laughs> we each got a cake I, I got, got a piece of cake not a whole cake and I got a and cupcake, got a cupcake. So, bread velvet. yeah exciting I, I'm sure that's what most Herod's shoppers go for <laughs>
Um, nearing the end of the day Saturday so it's been a hot minute since I've updated but yesterday at London was really really fun we were there like all day it was not looking very promising in terms of our shopping prospects for a very long time um, we started at Harrods and then Eloise is a walker and she um, made me walk 40 minutes to Liberty which to be fair I did tell her I probably would have chosen to do the walk too because transit was like 30 minutes but then I was thinking I was like mm, she didn't let me see how much of that was actually walking so perhaps I wouldn't have but it was through Hyde Park so it was still like a, a more scenic walk so it was fine but we went to Harrods and Liberty which are both like like designer places so not places where we were actually shopping it was more just to go and see the store which were both very cool, um, and Liberty is near Regent Street and Oxford Street in London, which have a lot of other shops that we went through. But yeah, things were just kind of uninspiring. But then I, in Zara, I got the thing that I, the thing that I got on the trip, which is very ridiculous, but it's like a, a heart-shaped top, so the end comes down to a little point, so it fully on, fully makes a heart, and it's like a ruffled, thing. It's crazy and it's fun and it's actually like surprisingly really flattering. Like it makes your waist look teeny tiny. Um, and then I got some like strings of pearls because I'm obsessed with that scene in The Devil Wears Prada. I think it's the first one after she's had her makeover and she comes in and she wears the like massive amount of strings of pearls. I've been obsessed with that since I was like 10. So this is part of my endeavor to recreate that. And then Eloise found a dress in And Other Stories that was really cute. I also tried on a very cute t-shirt in And Other Stories that was like a Paris city scene, um, an, like an illustration of one, and then it had like beading that and little like sequins that made up, like the Eiffel Tower and the roses on the bushes that I really liked. But So I was like, if it ever goes on sale, or if I keep thinking about it a lot, maybe I'll get that. So we'll see. So it wound up being a very successful day. Um, didn't go too crazy in London, but yeah, both found something, which was the goal. And then we had dinner at a pub. I think it was called like Horse and Coach or something, Coach and Horses, something like that. That's where we had dinner. Um, really good, like the standard menu. I think like most of the pubs here are owned by the same company, so it was one of the ones that was owned by that company, so the same menu really good and then we went to a bar and had a drink and then headed back to Pembroke and they sent in the chat that they have like blended drinks now so Eloise was like she is the energizer bunny so she was like we have to go to bar night so we wound up going and got the blended strawberry daiquiris which were very good totally worth it I'm glad that she could she convinced me to go so she's a good influence and then you could actually see the Northern Lights at Oxford, so everyone was freaking out about that. To be fair, you couldn't really see them with the naked eye. They showed up on your phone camera much better than they did in person. So it was still cool, though. And then today, I went to the Christchurch Meadows with Eloise, as you would have seen. We had, like, I took out, like, a, a sheet that I don't really use. And we had a little picnic, and we both read. So she was reading The Bookbinder of Jericho, and I was reading one of my books. And yeah, had a really nice afternoon. I got this wicked sunburn, as you can see. But yeah, it was really nice. And then we just walked around. We went to, I think it's pronounced Noops, but we pronounce it Canoops. It's like K-N-O-O-P-S, and they do like hot chocolate, like a fancier hot chocolate, like a specialty one. So she had an iced chocolate and I had an uh like chocolate milkshakey thing that was really really good. And then we just walked around. So yeah, I had a very nice day today. Oh, and then what I just got back from, we came back and I changed and like had a brief chill and everything. 
And then a bunch of us from Gab decided to go. We were going to try to go to Head of the River Pub again, but it was like completely packed. So we couldn't get a table. So we wound up just grabbing some drinks at Tesco and then going and hanging out uh, by the river uh, for a while, which was really, really nice. And now we, me, Anika, and Eloise have pizza on the way and we're going to eat and then go to the MCR because they're doing like a Eurovision kind of watch party thing. I'm assuming this is the start of Eurovision. I'm not really sure because obviously it's not as big in Canada. Like I don't, I don't know anyone that's watched it actually. I've seen the Will Ferrell movie about Eurovision, but obviously it's much bigger here. So we're going to go and watch that. And I think the bar is opening again tonight for it, which is very fun because usually Pembroke Bar is only open on Fridays. But yeah, very nice day. I'm very tired from being outside all day in the sun. Um, yeah, I'm hoping that this won't be quite as red tomorrow. <laughs> but um, yeah, very nice day, but I'm going to sleep very well. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Sunday today. And I went to the Eurovision bar night last night and watched a few sound, a few sets. It's very weird. I don't know. It's interesting. It's like a very specific style of music, all of the performances. Yeah, don't know if I'll be watching it again, but it was cool to see. So, and I'd forgotten that ABBA had won Eurovision, so that was cool. But yeah, we didn't linger too, too long because um, we were all pretty tired. But yeah. This morning I am going to play croquet. Still have no idea how to play croquet, so I'm going to have to Google the rules right before we leave. Me and Anika are partners, and Guy and Eloise are partners, and for our first match we're actually playing each other, because I signed up for this croquet tournament that Pembroke is doing. So that should be fun. None of us have ever played before, so it's going to be interesting. <laughs> everybody so we played croquet this morning only fought a little bit I only got slightly competitive but we eventually just decided to just call it a tie because both of us messed up the rules quite a bit part way through so we were like this would be most fair so we called it a tie for the round and we both cut both teams we used it to figure out the rules and it was quite fun and then we went and had ice cream after to repair our friendship after the heated competition. And then, yeah, I walked through the mall with Guy and, and Anika because Guy needed some shorts because it is hot in Oxford right now. So I went through there and then I've just kind of been chilling out. I did like errands around here and yeah, had a very chill Sunday, which was quite nice because I feel like I've been kind of go, go, go the last few days. So it's a nice catch up, but I'm going to go to second dessert tonight and that's really it. So I think I'm going to say goodbye here and I'll catch you in the next video.